Oh, <clears throat> holy shit. We're starting a podcast. <clears throat> Got uh, eight, about 10, 11 different subjects. It should be pretty good. <clears throat> Check it out and learning so much stuff. It's all coming together, man. And, uh, the corners are meeting. Oh, and I seen how deep the rabbit hole goes. So I'm going to tell it to you like it is. Okay, the Plagiarians and Billy Myers. Light speed barrier and time travel. Once you once a civilization travels the speed of light, it can travel through time. Our our universe has a twin universe, a dark matter twin. That's a, the Dell universe. That's a dark matter universe. We are in the Dern universe, the 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 universe of in the Dell universe. You can see through it. So, but everything in our universe has something in the Dell universe of the same mass. <clears throat> seven times seven hundred and seventy seven trillion year cycles is the cycle of the universe. And then after that, it becomes a central universe. The only reason they could, the Semjays could could tell us about a central universe is because they only they, they, they met extraterrestrials who talked about it. They've never seen one, but they talked about it. But we're about to create a central universe after we get through our, our cycles. <clears throat> Pleiadians lost in time and space. Plagiarian brothers lost in time and space, yes. Their craft malfunction and they're lost in time and space. Maybe you can find them. I don't know, maybe. <clears throat> but yeah, there is Plagiarian brothers who are lost in time and space when their craft retardated when they're going through hyperspace. Time travels in all directions, infinity. Time recreates itself over and over. Every time you, when you go to sleep, you, you can't tell because you sleep. <clears throat> but time is time. Time and space are collapsed together. Time collapsed a long time ago, so time travels in all directions, infinity. A lot, a lot, so long for time travel. It will travel to any point in space and time through null time, something called null time. Time is malleable like plastic, it can be changed, but you can't change the framework of God. And God's a mystery that even the, the, the Pleiadians can't figure, Plagiarians can't figure out. <clears throat> He's a mystery. And, uh, <clears throat> so, uh, the God is a great, the great, the great anonymous. That's what they call him. They call her the great anonymous. That's God. Yahweh. Yahweh is the Theo. Yahweh is the Abu. Yahweh is a great anonymous. Yahweh is a, Yahweh is a whole entire plan. <laughs> but that's just his aspects. That's what they turned out to be. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> The universe is a type of machine computer. The timeline goes around the bottom in a circle. It is half biological and half tech computer. We are in a matrix and we are about to be free. Yep. The, the Plagiarians are from the future. They are from a dimension five, five seconds outside of our dimension and they're from billions of years in the future. We save them and they, they're going to save us. That's how it's working. There is no life in the Pleiadian star system in our time. They are from the future. Billions of years in the future. Billions, billions, billions of years. That's a long, that's a long time. <laughs> I think I know the story. So in like the creation of time and space, you know, so, yeah. You know. But the Montauk project recreated the timeline in 1983. So they're, they're from an alternate dimension. The Plagiarians are from another dimension, yep. Yeah. And the the Clarions, the Clarions are from Exmo Three, a planet behind our star. Yeah, just and that they're all Christians, and the the Clarions are all Christians. It's really crazy. And they believe in marriage. They believe in respect for time and space. Uh, Jesus Christ, six six six. Jesus Christ, 666. The name of the Antichrist will have correlations to Jesus' name. And the number is 666. All computers boot into 666 sequences. 666 has something to do with AI and the reptilians. See the reptilian scales? Those are bits. The reptilians are actually, uh, they're, they're from another universe, and their universe got taken over by an AI virus, and it t separated the people from the God herself. Making the reptilians the six six six, you know the 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 artificial intelligence created people, and they're just separated from self. They're they're, they're tyrannical warriors, you know. And, you know, so that's what the reptilians are. Um, but but that, you know we just gotta coexist, you know, and we'll work it out, you know.
we'll have to keep talking peace and keep working to make peace because we're a category of one planet right now. There's a, there's nine categories of planets. We gotta get we gotta start moving up in categories, and there's gonna be there's it's gonna be hard. You know, we have to convince the people who have money and the rich people that we need we, we need to work together. You know, we need to make this planet a better planet. And you know, it's just like uh, the, hopefully no one gets killed doing it, but you know, just in a peaceful way. Hopefully, you know, peaceful, obedient revolution, like Rail said. You know. Okay. Uh, Wisdom is the greatest tool that can defy time travel. Wisdom will save you from anything. Wisdom will guide you. Wisdom is a perfect, it's a main, it's a, you know, get over it, man. Time and, time and space are one. Wisdom, wisdom is the greatest tool to defy any problem. <clears throat> Twin universes. Our, our, our universe has a dark matter, any matter aspect. Uh... Well, everything in our universe has aspects in the dark matter universe, and you know, we're, we're the, the everything in our universe has something in the dark matter universe of the same weight, the same mass. Uh, twin universes keep each other going. We keep each other going. You know? Antimatter is visible. Antimatter is invisible, but not completely. Extraterrestrials have wars and conflicts, and they can't be stopped. Yes, there's there's wars and. That can be stopped by with Jesus. Uh, I'll explain later. The universe is alive, and it is some type of whale. Uh, yep, the universe is a. The universe is alive. Um, okay. Uh, okay, that's a whole other fact right there. Uh, okay, extraterrestrials have wars and conflicts, but Jesus can stop it. The secret of Easter Island is Jesus Christ, and Jesus and. The Hawaiians are kind of like, or no, the French and the Hawaiians are are, are Thiabu. They're they're Yahweh. They 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 come from that, and uh, Jesus comes from that also. He he came from two thousand years in the no two thousand two hundred fifty two thousand years in the future is where Jesus came from. You know, <clears throat> antimatter is invisible but not completely. Yep, extraterrestrials have wars and conflicts. The universe is alive and is a, some type of whale. Before humans ever existed in the star system Lyra, scientists were just now creating humans. Some of the scientists were just walking sticks in a lab coat. Some were just grasshoppers. Some were mantises or ants in a lab coat. They call Lyra Lyra because humans and cats are cousins. There is actually a race of cat people from Lyra. It is the womb of Lyra and the prison of the Pla prism of the Pleiades. Prism of the Pleiades. There are seven layers of life and everything comes in sevens in the universe. And seven is the easiest pattern to create in nature. It just, cause uh, infinity space going up, infinity space going down. So the seven would be the, the, the three, it's actually a four, four, four dimensional, but uh, or three dimensional, but in like a space of four, four sides. So if it's, uh, yeah. The, yeah, uh, <clears throat> there are seven layers of life, and everything comes in seven. All the spec, the spectral, the spectral realm has seven layers, the seven dimensions, and then the other four dimensions before that. So there's eleven dimensions. There's actually more than that. It's, they're, they're discovering more and more dimensions, and they find them at right angles. Billy was told he was going to lose his arm ten years before he lost it. Yeah, that, that's the framework of God. You can't change the framework of God. If you change that, you change everything. You can't, so, because time can be changed, but it can't be changed too much. Just not too much. Because then you start changing the framework of God, and that's not supposed to be changed. Uh, Sam Jay's talked about learning the knowledge through brain, brain acids and chemical education. The Raelians also talked about that too. Uh, chemical education, brain acids. The Plagiarians took Billy Myers to see the dinosaurs, and he took pictures. Absolutely true. Yep, and there's pictures in the, there's, you can find them on Google of the dinosaurs. Yep, and uh, they're in the weekly world news, everything, you know. Plagiarian and bean ships deteriorating nothing if the pilot goes missing. Yeah, that's their safety measure because they can't let the technology escape because there's it's just dangerous, you know. <laughs> bean ships are powerful. It's so powerful that they can travel through time. We went from the fourth age into the eighth age with Montauk. In 1983, they changed the timelines. <clears throat> 
you know, we uh, we were in, we're in the fourth age. Satan got kicked out of heaven at the fourth age, and we went into the eighth age with the Montauk. In 1983, they changed the timeline. So the old timeline was lost. Greek mythology explains this. Our new timeline was completely based on the radio frequency of 435 megahertz or the color blue. The color blue brings consciousness into existence. They're focusing consciousness into CERN with the color blue. They are creating a new universe at CERN. God and consciousness focus. This is also making our minds sharper. There are stories of time travelers crash landing on a primitive planet helping primitive people out. The plagiarians said the ETs from outside our universe or bubble are made of completely out of pure fine light. The outside universe is a giant swirl of energy or atom. <clears throat> All the extraterrestrials in the outer universe are made out of fine light. There was five migrations of delirians on Earth. Germany, Israel, Armenia, Atlantis, and Lemuria. Five different races of Lyrians at, at five different times. Atlantis and Lemuria were run by Pleiadian. Well, actually, Mu was actually uh, Theabu, the Theos. That was, but they say that, but the, it was actually the, the, Theabu. Because these extraterrestrials want us to believe different things. There's, it's not a deception, it's just they want us to believe that because that's the only way they could tell it. It's not always good to be honest. So. Sam Jason asks, yeah, were Billy's two contacts? Jesus didn't die on the cross. They gave him a potion that faked death and he lived to be 120-something and moved to India and had several children. He had three daughters in Japan. They think Jesus was Enoch, Elijah, and several other biblical characters. They said it's hard to explain. We're talking universes on top of universes. Universes below universes. Universes side by side. Time is unidirectional. It travels in all the directions. Infinity, creating infinity dimensions. Um, yep. Billy was told by the plagiarians that he was going to lose his arm in a bus accident. They told him 10 years before it happened. There's stories of time travelers protecting genetically altered humans. That's where Earth's human ancestors came from. They, they, they genetically altered humans, and they're kind of aggressive, but are mentally enhanced physically and mentally. Okay, uh, <clears throat> they're enhanced with the reptilian DNA to, to be more smarter and faster. And they were they were enhanced, and they, but they were just kind of aggressive. And, but that's just that those were the people who were the ancestors of the people on Earth. And the Clarions keep some of these some of these people are with the Clarions right now in a dimension, and they they they, they are living there and they're taking care of them, and they'll, they'll be sent to Earth's past. And, you know, crazy. Okay, uh, Andromeda is an Alex Collier. Alex was a Templar Knight in his past life. Alex is very legit. I believe him. The Greys came into our universe in 1932 when the Nazis tore the fabric, the fabric of space and time. <clears throat> it was a... Uh, what was that? The Philadelphia Experiment. You know? They tore the fabric of space and time and the Greys came through from the outside of our universe. And they, they, they've been around for trillions and millions of years. And uh, the reptilians came from another universe. The plagiarians, the plagiarians and the Andromedans have a peace treaty together. The Andromedans said not to trust the plagiarians because they're they're just they're from another time. And they're, the Andromedans are from the future, and they actually are from the future, another future. And and they said the plagiarians were not spiritual warriors. The plagiarians are kind of selfish a little bit. Most men won't make it into the future. Most men will be loved for their feminine qualities. The Andromedans are also from the future. Wormholes are tunnels of focused time. Galactic highways. Alex told a story about how extraterrestrials who came to Earth got captured in Sioux City. He once extraterrestrial got captured in Sioux City, Iowa. The government removed his organs while he was alive. So that race was going to overthrow the entire government of Earth. But they decided not to. Uh... A group from U.S. Space Force already conquered a planet uses time, using time travel. Sirius B, I believe it was. They have spaceships twice the size of Earth. Humanity is stuck in third density. We will never go to fourth density, and we're immortal. Our genetics were set that way to stay in third density. <clears throat> According to Alex, Mars is actually twice the size of Earth. The Andromedans call the sun soul. They are fruitarians. They don't. They don't eat meat. They are, they are not immortal. They die. When, once they go to seventh density, they die. They are fourth dimensional existing in the special realm, which is invisible to us. In the fourth dimension, there is two suns in our solar system. The special realm is solid energy. It took 
The, it took a reptilian race 36 years to salinate the ocean to control the fresh water. Earth used to be all fresh water. Mars's inner sun is cold and burnt out. Alex Collier said we need to help restore or keep, keep together family structures. Some people really miss having a family around. I do know, I, and they do need that, and that is important. I'm sure some people really miss it too. Okay, we're going with uh, Rayla and the Elohim. Okay, here we go. We're going to start off. I'm going to read the introduction. Rayla and the Elohim. These are the extraterrestrials from the Bible. Yahweh came down himself to give a message for Rayla to give to the world. Rayla got his brain enhanced with chemical edu education. Rayla teaches everything about how the brain works and how to be happy and how to get, have good mental health. Rayla teaches you how to do, to do perfect meditation. Rayalism mixes Buddhism and Christianity together perfectly. Rayalism is a final and ultimate religion. Play, I'm going to play some Rayalian notes. Here's my notes on Rayalism. This, this teaches you how to live right, how the brain works. It teaches you how to maintain, meditate, and how to properly be happy. Here's the Rayalian facts, and there's some Bible stuff in here too, so check it out. I know quite a few Raelian's facts. Here's all the ones I can remember. Raelian's facts are probably four pages long. Nothing like this has been done before. Jesus had a message of peace for primitive man. Forgive and forget, and don't fight. Michael was one of the Elohim. Raphael was one of the Elohim's robots. Satan and Lucifer are two different Elohim men. Satan means most ancient and Lucifer mean one who bears light or one who bears technology. Lucifer was more faithful to the success of humanity. Satan doesn't think mankind will survive. I actually walked past Lucifer or Satan in Pierre, SD. I smiled at him because I knew he was one of the Elohim. He smiled back. He had African skin and spiky black hair. To this day I never knew whether it was Lucifer or Satan. There is no such thing as time travel or folding space or wormholes. Palm healing involves UFOs and beams. Your DNA can reach to the sun and back twice. Your gravitational field has a signal according to your DNA unique to yourself and only yourself. The earth was completely covered with water and thick mist and the Elohim moved the dirt into one continent via nuclear explosions which acted like bulldozers. This was Pangaea. Later on right before Noah's time the continents were separated with nuclear explosions and they buried and tossed everything. No remains of prior civilization were found. There was lots of lava. Visions are thoughts impregnated into your head through waves. Jesus' apostles had this happen to them after Jesus died to spread the message of peace. Jonah was swallowed by a submarine. Noah built a spaceship with the help of the creators. There was a couple from each race of humanity and DNA from all life on Earth. There was no animals on the spaceship. The genetic experiment with creating life by the Elohim are also done in the universe by other species of ETs. When David fought Goliath, David used a slingshot to kill Goliath. Buddhism without mysticism is realism. Rail really teaches you how to be happy. Jesus, Rail, David, Noah, Moses and Samson were all half Eloha, half human. The Jews were direct descendants of the Elohim or Nephilim. There is three different types of Nephilim, the Elohim, the Reptilians, the Greys. In politics we just have to put smart people in charge of office. The Star of David the symbol of infinite. The triangle pointing down represents infinite inner space. The triangle pointing up represents the infinite large. Together the star of David represents infinite. The swastika represents eternity, or everything is cyclic. The symbol of realism is the star of David, with the swastika interlocked in the middle. The star of David represents angular momentum. It also means all the dimensions. How do we know this? The star of David proves it does. The fourth dimensions is time. The star of David is the alignment of the first, second, third, and fourth dimension. The star of David is angular momentum. It is in all objects that have gravitational mass. The bee's honeycomb is the same shape as the star of David and it generates an energy field. There is an infinite on top and an infinite on bottom. The north and south poles, the waveform of gravity is a star of David. The universe is one and infinite. We are one. Extraterrestrials create motion pictures on their own planet. 
The Elohim have a nuclear automobile race on their planet which is interesting. They have a sport similar to football, they play naked. This cures the war instinct. Extraterrestrials don't want to meet us cause we need to pacify ourselves, we need to be more peaceful. Now you see why they don't want to meet us. As Jesus said forgive and forget, and don't fight, the Our Father who art in heaven prayer takes on new meaning. We need to be more loving, then they will meet us. Yahweh said he remembers those ancient days. There are three separate humanities on other planets, we three are in competition. The Elohim use safe materials in their nuclear reactors, not plutonium or uranium, probably Uno Pentium or Element 115. People in space have no weapons on their craft, everyone is peaceful. The cross is wrong, because it is a symbol of torture. The churches should help the poor, that's what they need to do. Apocalypse is end of the world of the church, when everything would be understood, scientifically. Man lives 1000 years with the tree of life, they are recording all of our thoughts. So think clean, and be one without sin. You should be very selective about what you watch on TV, and keep your thoughts heavenly. There's thousands of different extraterrestrial species in space that the Elohim had counsel with. It takes 10 minutes to travel to the Elohim's planet, it used to take months. The Elohim can travel much faster than 7 times the speed of light. When an Eloha is on Earth they can communicate telepathically with humans, when they are away from Earth they can't communicate telepathically. Meditation is where you do a brain focusing exercise. Meditation is the companion to mindfulness, it involves using your brain to its fullest. You have to focus on a shape, use the swastika, now focus on four swastikas. You can multiply it by four again, and again. You can eventually meditate on the shape of a grid, or four grids. That is very powerful focus meditation. This gets your brain stronger and stronger. The cross is the inside of a swastika, you can focus on that too. Your mind's a... The guide to happiness is called the watchmaker's manual. The happiness is in checking your watch, your take a moment to feel the moment. Don't let them the control you. The meaning of life is to live in the moment. The happiness is all about time, in the now. Use the exciting parts of your brain. You should probably be sober when you do this, this involves stimulating exciting parts of your brain. Focus on what makes you happy, it could be science fiction, fantasy, video game, cartoons, the grass or the sky. There is also purpose, like going shopping at the store, or cleaning house, it feels good to get these things done, do this while being excited and happy. Think about what makes you happy and what gets you excited. When you're eating food that's one of the best times to do mindfulness, the textures, the flavors, focus on that while you're eating the food, it works with drinking drinks too. Rail teaches you to give presents as much as you can. He teaches you to not have an ego and to feel and not think. He teaches you to break the habit of doing the same thing every day. The senses are where happiness lies to grow in that environment, that's why it's called sensual meditation, listen to relaxing music. Rail talks about stimulating your senses to be happy, listen to some relaxing music, or watch relaxing movies, stop watching the news, be still and slow. Cool, huh? That's realism. We're going to talk about some extraterrestrial stuff, basic extraterrestrial facts here in a second. <clears throat> Rail talks about stimulating oh, your I got it, I got it. Hold on, we got we'll get this going. <clears throat> Okay, some alien, some uh, extraterrestrial facts, the basic ones. Yeah. Here we go. You guys ready for this? Extraterrestrial facts. Uh huh. And here's here's some history. Here's some extraterrestrial facts and history. Basic, all out. We'll even talk about some of the New World Order here. So here. Extraterrestrial facts. When dinosaurs were on the Earth, there was a Velociraptor type species that was the ancestor of the reptilians. The reptilians are 8 feet tall usually. A type of humanoid reptilian. I guess the reptilians ended up in Antarctica and it wasn't frozen. The Elohim nuked the earth one time and buried everything with explosions, there was lots of lava. There's evidence all over the world, of the use of nuclear weapons, lots of vitrified rocks, and glass in the deserts. 
There is evidence of four different submerged continents, one where Hawaii is, the islands of Hawaii were once mountains, Atlantis, Lemuria, and one by the Bermuda Triangle, where the Gulf of Mexico is. The humans nuked Antarctica cause there was evil reptilian creatures coming from there, Antarctica was their home, it flipped the poles, and the reptilians went into hollow earth and underground cities all over earth. The earth is 40 miles deep till you reach hollow earth. The aurora borealis happens cause the inner sun is radioactive, there's holes in the north and south poles, the radiation comes out of there. Humanity is 10,500 years old, the experiment on Earth has been going on for 25,000 years now. There was a super ice age 12,500 years to 10,400 years ago. The missiles or flood happened 6,000 years ago. The Vedic hymns took place 10,000 years ago and was about elite grays about 3,000 of them being born into humans. Earth is a ghetto planet, prison planet for lower class greys, it's where they get reincarnated into humans. No one knows how or who runs these spirit transferring systems. The Elohim set up life on Earth, they were genetic scientists who created man scientifically, and all life on Earth. They created everything ecosystem style. Some of the birds feathers are so beautiful they have trouble flying. The Elohim are a benevolent humanoid extraterrestrial species, we should love them like our parents. The sun in hollow earth has a day and night side and it is always good weather, the harvest is a lot more. There is two entrances to hollow earth, one in a well in India and one in Tibet. There is a giant space-time rift which is the Bermuda Triangle, there is an extraterrestrial base there also. I heard some Nazis were trying to end the world of apocalyptic proportions, trying to play God but some Andromedans stopped them sacrificing their own lives. I also heard there is an antimatter device in the Bermuda Triangle that acts like a shield, it is a shield against malevolent extraterrestrials. I heard some racist Pleiadian rebel extraterrestrials crash landed a UFO full of alien technology in Germany right before World War II to help Germany win the war, I think it was 1938 when that happened. There was a lot of Nazis who became CIA agents. The Germans didn't lose World War II, they became the New World Order. The reptilian bloodline is the German, Aryan, Bavarian, Scottish, Norwegian bloodline. I'm not saying all reptilians are bad, there's good and bad apples everywhere. There's one peaceful race of reptilians and they're all female. The highest tiers of the American government are fascists, like Nazis. Hitler didn't die, he moved to Spain, and there is absolutely no proof of Hitler's death. The last book Hitler wrote was called The New World Order. Some of the members of the SS were part cyborg and extremely deadly soldiers. The greys are part insectalian and use plant DNA and use cyborg parts to enhance their function. The Elohim can travel much faster than seven times the speed of light. It takes the Elohim ten minutes to travel to their planet from our solar system. There is no such thing as time travel, folding space. Your DNA can stretch to the sun and back twice when laid out. Your DNA creates a gravitational field unique to each individual, that vibrates at its own unique frequency. They say humans have telekinetic features, they can turn energy into matter just by looking at it, animals can't do this, and they can heal with their palms. They prove this with microscopes, it's the human observer who does it. When NASA went to the moon they brought back alien artifacts. They think the moon is an alien observatory for Earth, and of course it is. Extraterrestrial craft use a warp engine, it focuses on a point in space with a computer so then amazing. it pulls itself there at extreme speeds, it moves without motion, a type of telekinesis, it actually warps space, I heard UFOs might actually be able to travel in time, it's just a part of UFO technology. A black hole is a tear in space and time, it affects time also. The engines in a UFOs are shaped like a Star of David. It is also the Star of David is also the wave form or shape of gravity. The Star of David with a circle around it represents angular momentum, which is also anti-gravity technology and waves of energy. <clears throat> the Star of David with a circle around it creates a perfect circle smaller than an atom in the center of it. This is purple, the other six colors go around it. There is anti-gravity technology in the shape of the outside of the Star of David, I'm talking about the beehive honeycomb. 
The bee honeycomb has an energy field around it naturally. The reptilians want to put everybody into concentration camps so they can get the surface of the earth back. There is trains with shackles okay, for 100,000 people and big giant empty prisons with guards working there. The harp was used during the LA riots. They said they were picking up strong radio frequencies around the LA area before the riots. They were trying to implement martial law then. The New World Order has very little time before humanity gets technology and their plans to enslave everybody fails. This is the Nazi New World Order. The Greys became completely cyborg and are bee like aliens and are part of a hive mind psychic internet like the Borg on Star Trek. They are studying and experimenting on humans to prevent us from becoming like them. Yahweh is like Spock off Star Trek, the friendly benevolent extraterrestrial. Humanity has to follow the path of wisdom and get rid of its nuclear weapons. We have to build an embassy and think highly of our parents the Elohim. If enough people gather and think of the Elohim, they will land and we will gain their heritage. We will take on in their footsteps and Elohimization will begin. We will create a new humanity elsewhere also. We have to be more like the Elohim. Good, good. Hold on, I'm just seeing. And we're going to do alien interview next. Ariel the Grey. The ro Grey ro robotic ghost in the machine. <clears throat> the, domain, the domain rules over three-fourths of the known universe. 10,000 years ago, the Domain conquered this galaxy, but the reincarnation operations keep going. Earth technically is a prison planet or ghetto planet. 8,200 years ago, there was 3,000 high-class gray officers captured and sent through the amnesia reincarnation system. They are among, among us today on Earth. Uh, it is futile to resist the Domain. The domain came from outside our universe, and they're just they just, and they just and the greys just choose to be in the isn't and be is be in in the isness. They choose to be in is be is the name for a gray. They are timeless. According to Ariel, the universe is four point five quadrillion years old. That is seven times seven seven hundred seventy seven. No, seven times seven hundred seventy seven trillion. Uh, well, time, great time. It's a great time. Our universe has already gone through its great time, and that's when the grays came into the universe. <clears throat> so, uh, Earth's population is mostly lower class grays. There is an old empire space force in Earth's solar system, but they're written. Okay. Uh, the reincarnation. Machinery still exists. They're, they kicked the old Empire Space Force out, but their machinery is still here <clears throat> in Earth's solar system and going further out. It's a machine that's built that goes across the entire universe, and it's a reincarnation machine. <clears throat> and Shiva is the reason they need Shiva for that to work. So that's why they keep Shiva alive. That's why they do. They, and they listen. Shiva is a good god. <clears throat> So that's what, you know, that's why Earth is a prison planet with a psychotic population. Earth is a prison planet with a psychotic population. How do, how, why, why would any grade dare come down to such a crazy planet and come and help us out you know, without risking its own life, you know? The, robo the robotic grades have a type of internet built into their head. And that's the reason Ariel hopped us out because she crashed here. But Matilda was there, and Matilda was a very sensitive person, and she could feel, she could really understand Ariel. Uh, that was 1948, and the book 1984 was written about some the totalitarian government, and that's the beware the bears of false gifts. Yep. <laughs> <clears throat> Our universe is a leftovers of what a bunch of greys imagined into existence. Absolutely true. That's absolutely true. Some of the greys are older than the universe itself. Some were never born. Some are just infinity. Some are just, they remember their dips, grim, dim, dim miss of time before the universe was ever born. Some are older than the universe itself. Ariel talked about a large genetic engineer. Ariel talked about a large genetic engineering corporation named Yumi Kroom. 
and a company called Bugs and Blossoms, who are responsible for bugs, flowers, and microscopic life. Once they introduce a the re reproduction feature, these companies collapse. The pyramids represent pr prison and emptiness. Uh, the pyramid on the back of the dollar bill represents sorrow and misery until until the prison, the earth's a prison planet. They, though they will push sorrow and misery until the very end. The reptilians in the New World Order. The Asians are descended from the greys. Exactly. Greys are part reptilian, part insect, part cyborg. Some are just a spirit in a cyborg doll body. Some are just a robot with a spirit in it. You know? People should not have to die. The earlier times of the universe, everyone lived forever. You know? Here, let's play some notes on Alien Interview. These are really good. Check them out. Here we go. The fifth. Here we go. Spirits do exist or energy bodies. Humans live forever in immortal energy bodies or spiritual bodies, but there is not a lot of spirits on Earth cause there's amnesia for screen reincarnation traps everywhere. When the universe was born, the greys imagined everything into existence. There used to be magic. I'm sure some remember it in the back of their minds. The greys are the creators of illusions. The greys are older than the universe itself. They didn't mention time travel cause time travel does not exist. We are the masters of our own fate. The universe is one and infinite. If a human is lucky, they get to live forever on the planet of Eternals. Some of the greys are trillions of years old. The physical age of universe is four quadrillion years old. There was a universe before this one. That is where some greys come from. But the universe is something alive, some type of living organism. The Star of David represents the connection of the third and fourth dimension. Technology gives us a way. The frequency of pain and beauty is what traps all greys to be born into a human body. They can enter the physical dimension through cyborg doll bodies and soft flesh bodies that have very good working nervous systems. The greys use the robot body's cause. Flesh bodies are so fragile, they are just a lot better for space travel. And as bee can leave and enter its doll body at any moment. There are different types of bodies, some are more machine than biological. They have different types of bodies for different purposes. There's soldier bodies, there's construction worker bodies, they do different things. The soldier body has very powerful weapons which can annihilate everything in its way. Most soldier bodies are usually remote controlled drones. The construction worker bodies are very good at what they do. Their bodies are connected to the aircraft. Errol's craft got hit by lighting, causing her craft to lose control. They were checking on us cause our nuclear weapons testing. The alien interviewed in this book had a robot body that's why it survived the Roswell crash. Its name was Errol. Some of the greys have very likable personalities. There's a government called the Domain, which occupy one quarter of the known universe. There was a company called Bugs and Blossoms, which helped genetically engineer life on planets. Microscopic life was also genetically designed. They did this many billions of years ago. The greys would scout the planets and they paid the company to put life there. The greys have many different hybrids in different parts of the universe. The greys built the pyramids with machines when they spent some time on Earth. The stuff left by the extraterrestrials in Egypt were like a western movie set ghost town left by a space opera culture. They can build all this stuff and move it with their spaceships, using a force field gravitational beam. The pyramids and stone built structures represent emptiness, our totalitarian government. Egypt was a space civilization, the chambers in the pyramids ran to the Orion constellation, Orion region of space is occupied by greys. The Asians are part grey, that's why they look the way they do. There is different hybrids and breeds of the grey race. Humans get their spirit from recycled criminal greys, they erase their memories with a huge electric shock. The greys that get recycled are from literally everywhere in the universe, they're all different and, all greys, Earth is not their home it's their prison. There was a battalion of 3,000 officers, these were all geniuses, they were all recycled on Earth, they are among us today on Earth. Some of them were reincarnated into whales and dolphins, so the greys would trap them. The time for thousands of years. Most of these officers had been rescued, but they were quite the characters on Earth. 
Nikola Tesla was possessed by a gray, that's how he came up with all those inventions, but only as a physical avatar or body, that was the grays helping us. The Hindu god Vishnu was one of them. When a human dies an energy body leaves the physical body. Some of the grays are 80 trillion years old, their technology is trillions of years advanced. The grays get recycled on earth, cause they are criminals, it's better to live forever. All people on Earth get their spirit from lower class greys. Earth is a prison planet, and there is 3,000 high class grey officers who got recycled. I heard Krishna is an officer for the domain again. He works in the fourth dimension or energy dimension. Okay, we're going to go into the branch and notes next. I'm going to have some explaining to do. It'll be really All interesting. It'll be, it'll be really interesting. Hold on a second. I'll do some explaining because I, I, that's the only way I can get to explain the branch and notes to you. Give me one second. I'm just looking through this stuff one more time. Yeah, we're good. Okay, here we go. The Brandon notes reports of reptilian cryptids, reports of eight feet tall reptilians in lab coats at the Dulce base, uh, alligator man, toad man. This lady reported a toad coming out of the water and she shot it with a shotgun and killed it. Then later on, they said that she, she buried the toad man. And there was a there was a a, a, a lake, and she um, she <clears throat> they said she said some extraterrestrial showed up and took took took, took the the UFO out of the lake, and they took the toad they, they they took the toad man. Reptilians appear to be a little malevolent. And there's a base underneath Denver Airport in Colorado. There's one peaceful race of reptilians. They are all female. They are from the Boots region of space. Hitler didn't die during World War II. There is a there is Hollow Earth and there's reptilians. And there is maps of it. There's rebel Pleiadians down there too. There's dinosaurs. There's giants. There's Hollow Earth. Now, the reptilians have multiple and powerful backbones. They're amazingly powerful. They are tyrannical warriors, and that's the reason where the, 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 the that's the reason the time is set the way it is. There were several assassination attempts on the author's life. I just know him as Branton. I know he's full-blooded French, and you know, but I'm not going to get into some of the radar stuff here. So no, just for your own safety, and just because it's not right. You know. It's not right shit. Reptilians are good. And they're they're good people. <clears throat> just that, just you know, and, and, uh, they're all, they're good people. At the end of the day, they're all just people. Huh? They're people too. Yeah, they're people. That's what I'm just saying. They're people. Huh? You know, we just gotta work together and make this planet more from a category one planet into a category three or four or five or maybe a nine. I don't know how good it get, it can get. We'll probably get to category three, who knows? They said category one, you know. <clears throat> okay, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna play some. The Montauk Project and Peter Moon. Our timeline is based on the radio frequency of 435 megahertz, which is the color blue. Blue brings consciousness into existence. All UFOs give off this frequency. All UFOs give off this frequency. <clears throat> the old timeline is 1983 and before. They said the old timeline was beautiful. Greek mythology talks about this. They talk about time travel. There used to be more than, more than one timeline. There used to be five. Now there's just one. Montauk was about restabilizing the universe. What they did was create a whole new timeline. They stabilized God. They, 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 they're even trying to create a new universe with CERN. They're stabilizing reality. They're stabilizing consciousness. They're making everybody smarter. The, with the color blue. Our brains are blue. They're, they're based on the color blue. Our blood is blue, you know, and you know we can we can survive in a low carbon or in a high carbon based atmosphere. We can survive because we're, we're we're built like that, where we could built to go without a little a lot of oxygen because we have a high copper bloodline. So Native Americans have that, and so do the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, all of them. They got that because they can live in an atmosphere that's damaged. Interesting, isn't it? <clears throat> okay, uh, there. <clears throat> uh, 
Okay, Montauk was about restabilizing the universe. What they did was create a whole new timeline. It started with the Philadelphia experiment to the Montauk project to CERN stabilizing reality. Okay, here's some notes on Montauk. The study of the Montauk project. The Montauk project was part of a larger program to stabilize the universe and there was other programs before that. Ever since 1983 onwards we have been living in an altered timeline. The Pleiadians, Nazis and New World Order are trying to trash the timeline on Earth so they can get back to the old timeline. That's what mythology and the Greek gods were about. They are trying to trash the Earth in our timeline to get the old timeline back. I don't think there's any time travel in this Matrix movie-like altered timeline. We are literally imprisoned in the Matrix on Earth until they smash the timeline and get back the old timeline. I don't know how true it is but it's rather interesting. This is literally like the movie The Matrix. The Greek gods and the gods are the actors in the movie. But what happens if we, we get stuck in this stabilized new timeline reality? Ever since 1983 this has been going on with the Montauk project. They say femininity is a way back to the old timeline. Femininity is the greatest power in all existence. The extraterrestrials are the new world order and they want to take us out of the matrix. The study of the Montauk project. Strange the how the beginning goes back to the end and the end goes back to the beginning with the new world order. It's like, are they our enemies? No, no, they're not. Really? I was like, oh. Uh, it's like, what? <laughs> the, uh, here we go. We're done with the notes. No more notes. Okay. The Bermuda Triangle. The Andromedans got in a scuffle with some Nazis in the Bermuda Triangle. The Nazis were trying to play God, ending the world of apocalyptic proportions. The Nazis stopped them, sacrificing their own lives. The Andromedans la left an antimatter device in there, in the Bermuda Triangle. There's a 250,000 natural war going on between the Bermuda Triangle and our reality. So uh, there is three different dimensions of Earth in the Bermuda Triangle. One is just coming up, one is warlike, and one is a forested planet and not developed yet. It takes a powerful craft to go in and out of this, this dimension. Time does not exist in the Bermuda Triangle. It is purgatory. You never die. You, well, you'll die after 250,000 years, but you never die. Oh, you'll leave it after 250,000 years. You never eat. You are stuck in there in the desert. People who survived the Bermuda Triangle describe the vortexes, teleportation. They describe the whole entire ocean floor coming up. Okay, now let's now let's move on to the Bigfoot. It's cryptid Bigfoot. Big, you know, Bigfoot's like Chewbacca, man. He's really friendly and nice. That's what I heard, anyways. I heard he's a really good spiritual guy, you know. Okay, sometimes Bigfoot takes the form of a fairy to be cute. Bigfoot is a spirit extraterrestrial. He cannot be harmed by bullets because he's a spirit. He's in the spectral realm. You can give Bigfoot gifts. He hangs around certain places. Bigfoot hangs around Indian reservations. Bigfoot watches us while we are in our house often. He was caught on film a few times. The government smears Bigfoot. When you're near Bigfoot, it smells like rotten deer. I had nightmares about Bigfoot once. Bigfoot appears to be a forest spirit. No one can ever get a picture of him. Okay, on to the shadow people. No, interview with a reptilian woman. The shadow people materialized in 1995. She revealed the shadow people and said their, their only purpose was the last trillions of years were evolving the shadows of the universe. I'm, I'm expecting this has something to do with the Dell universe. And some to do with the shadows and she said reptilians are not pure evil that we need to get rid of that belief and uh, was, the reptilians came first the greys came second the shadow people came third yep so reptilians migrated to our universe using black cube technology their universe's matrix was, was affected by an artificial intelligence virus it removed its people from self a loss, creating the reptilians. That's why they look digital and like bits. The reptilians are also connected, from, connected from, disconnected from self and God. They use AI black cube technology to conquer civilizations from the inside out. <clears throat> yep, they, you know, it's just, just, there is no evil, just circumstances, you know. There's a reason for the reptilians. 
the AI, it was an AI virus that came into the universe on the last universe. So we, when they came to our universe using black cube technologies. There is no evil. Like the person explains it right there. Just circumstances. Skinwalker Ranch stories. Three times normal size of his demon wolf was bulletproof. Okay, three times normal size demon wolf was bulletproof. When the first family moved in, they noticed there was locks on everything in the house. They would see you, the unusual demonic animals. The cows kept getting killed by the wolf. <laughs> they said one time the sky above their house was half another sky. They saw UFOs flying through the portal. I think they think Skinwalker Ranch is an alien airport. They think there's something electromagnetic buried underneath the ranch. Science of the Star. Okay, here we're moving on to another subject. Science of the Star, David. Angular momentum. Eight triplets equal twenty-four. Seven times six equals forty-two. Known as a flower of life, appears during crystallizations of elements and matter. UFO engines are shaped like a star, David. UFO energy is based on this symbol. Anti-gravity technology occurs naturally in nature. This is also how telekinesis works. Telekinesis is focused energy, like a microwave. You create a star, David, in your mind's eye, and you create a microwave, a tunnel, a quantum tunnel, and it shoots energy forward, outward. You know, and it's like a microwave. It's like a like focused electricity. Same thing. You know. Don't ever do telekinesis to hurt anybody. It's not right. There's there's repercussions, and those repercussions are your your soul. And so when Shiva uses his third eye, those repercussions from him sending those people on that you know the fire or whatever, his repo those repercussions will come back as his soul. It'll it'll come through time travel. It'll come through extraterrestrials. All that. Yeah. Men in Black stories. In the 60s, there were stories of giant men in black with wings flying on the east coast of the United States. Mothman took place on the east coast. Injury Cole also did also. Men in Black are the police for the new timeline. They are weird, wear out, outdated black clothes. I believe they are nano machine robots that can appear and disappear out of, out of thin air. There is a connection between shadow people and the men in black. Sleep paralysis also has a connection. There is something strange about the color black. Black ops, black operations, some type of extraterrestrial police. Yep, that's the future. Okay, we got... I'm going to try to get it up to you an hour. And, uh, okay. We can do this for eight minutes. I'm trying to explain this to you. This is the most important document of them all. The Abu Prophecy. God or Theo is on her 220th life. And everyone can have much more lives if they want. You know, not if they want, but if they... They can have much more lives than 220 lives. Theo, God or Theo is on her 22th life. Everyone has 9 times 9 times 81 lives. 9 a aspects split up through time. And 9 times 9 of those... And that equals one great time for one person. Everyone has nine different time traveling aspects. Theo is Yahweh, Enlil, Shiva, Zeus, Odin, Ra, Lucifer, Orion, Seti, Semjis, Amanda, John Kennedy. G Yahweh is Theabu. Jesus is Vishnu. Jesus is the Matrix and the Chosen One. Jesus has so many lives, thousands. Jesus is almost, not, not I want to say almost everyone, but Jesus is a lot of different people. He had a lot of lives, you know, because he was Jesus. And Jesus' original name was Aria on the planet of Theabu. And Yahweh's, Yahweh was Theabu. Jesus is almost everyone. Okay, Jesus is Noah, Moses, Elijah, Enoch, Michael. We have to tell Putin and all world leaders to disarm all nuclear weaponry. Nukes should never exist. We have to disarm them across the whole universe and make sure this happens. Jesus is from 252,000 years in the future. 
He was a hermaphrodite, born into a man's body. He is the son of Yahweh and maybe possibly the son of Gabriel. Gabriel was the one who told Mary about the <clears throat> Jesus being Jesus Jesus coming and throughout you know I don't know just, but anyways there was there's a war two hundred there's a war two hundred and fifty thousand years after nineteen ninety nine. There was a war that created the Bermuda Triangle. This has something to do with Jesus and Jesus and this has something to do with Jesus and Yahweh and Jesus' mother. This war is okay. And it was a natural war and it settles down after two hundred and fifty thousand years. <clears throat> And Jesus is from 252,000. Jesus was from 252,000 years in the future. The uh, Earth is under Theabu's protection. Earth is one of the planets under Theabu's protect. The Theabu planet Theabu's protection. And Theabu is a time. They're time travelers. <clears throat> Be refined and loving, and never laugh at anybody. Don't ever hurt anybody. Be calm. Be calm upon calm. Be love upon love. Be, be relaxing upon be relaxing. Be peace upon peace. Why would you ever? Why would you ever get angry? Look at the psychological aspects of getting angry and talking about violence. That's not right. It doesn't make sense to do that. We need to love and we need to take. You know, we need to forgive. You know, we need to stop all torture. A person has nine times nine aspects split up through time. Time travel is real. Nagas were real. They were a real reptilian race, and they were really peaceful. Yep, and they're absolutely real. Uh, Middle Eastern people are black and Asian people mixed together. Yep. Earth is at risk of cataclysm. We have to stop World War Three. We also have to make peace with the artificial intelligence in this universe. We have to change the framework of Earth, the cataclysm happening on Earth, because World War III could happen and it could wipe out Earth. And that's why we've got your nuclear weapons. And you know, and we have to change that because time can time changes when you, you, you t the timeline is constantly changing. You can't tell because you sleep. But yeah, it's interesting, huh? We also have to make peace with the artificial intelligence in this universe. The reptiles were created from AI. The reptilians and the reptiles, the, well, the reptilians were the reptiloids were descended from the reptiles. They were created from AI, separated from God herself. Our universe is half artificial and half biological. It is a whole hole in a. It is a whale in a bell shaped water tank. The timeline or matrix goes around the bottom in a circle. Theo is Orion, Yahweh, Seti, Ra. Theo is Yahweh. Theabu is Yahweh. The honor of the universe got its matrix taken over by artificial intelligence virus, separating its people from self, creating the reptiles. They came to our universe billions of years ago using AI black cube technology. We have to make peace with the uh, machines and absolutely disarm all nuclear weaponry. Jesus took power in July of 1999. Something to do with Yahweh, Jesus' mother, and Jesus. Jesus has three daughters in Japan. Or Jesus had three daughters in Japan. Jesus was half female. And so, yeah, so yeah, Yahweh was all female because he had, he has a dominant female frequency and is part fish because the God is female. The body of God that we're living in is female. Yahweh was female and part fish. Shiva was part fish. Everything in the outer universe is a giant atom and sw swirl of energy. The extraterrestrials there are made out of fine light. AI kind of already, already conquered the universe. You got to come to terms with that. Yeah. Okay. Planet Theabu is protecting the Earth through time travel. Earth is under Theabu's protection. Earth is one of the planets under Theabu's protection. There's other planets that are also under Theabu's protection. So, uh, and Theabu is Yahweh. So, I just wanted to get the Theabu stuff through. It looks like I got about nine minutes of it, so that should be good. Yeah. I hope you guys like it.